So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna load the whole document, the whole data from that document. Now let's go ahead and put the comment. Load the whole XML file data. Make sure to load. Make sure to load. Then I need to set uh, the URL or the uh, file path where we would like to grab this document from. And to do so, I'm going to say XML reader dot and select, go through all those properties and select load XML. And what it's going to do, it's going to load XML from certain path. And the path needs to be a string, as you can see. String means can be numbers and letters. And uh, I'm going to say, double quotes, because it's a string, the address of my XML file. And uh, I upload that file over my web server and I already know the address so basically I type this in as you can see and I'm gonna close it like so so what's gonna happen now now XML reader uh, using the load XML property will load the XML file text test XML which is I, he I have for you over here the whole this file and data it will load into the XML reader okay so we're gonna receive the data and um, let me demonstrate you what we're gonna do so we're just going to go ahead and uh, implement make our window a little bit bigger by holding your mouse by those uh, blue dots and uh, basically just scroll it like so about this size and um, we're gonna just place a text box text one let's call it XML data okay like so so now we're gonna click in the form one right click select the view code and we're gonna say that XML data which is our text box dot text so text in it it's a property for it dot and um, yeah we gotta I put the XML data not over here but we gotta put it on the name because it's text one and we, we want to make sure it's XML data and over here we can put the XML information notes so you need to name your text box over here okay so XML data dot and it's going to be some properties and values as again we're gonna select and go for text means that the text that's stored into this white thing equal and then I would like to be equal it's okay if it, this is an error because we didn't finish our uh, um, programming sentence and I'm gonna say equal to XML reader which is our XML document basically in, in the memory it's you know, stored in a variable then I'm gonna say dot and I'm gonna select text so what it's gonna do it's just going to bring the text uh, uh, the information that's stored in XML reader that XML document is gonna bring into the text matter and then it's gonna go into that box because that box text equal this value over here 
the whole XML document, um, which is XML reader, in a text matter. I'm going to click Run by this Play button, and it should load the XML data. Well, it didn't. It didn't. Um, load the data yet because we need to put over here we need to say XML not the text load it in XML uh, um, matter because in the text matter there is uh, by XML rules you you know you need to specify the um, the node and as you can see, um, let me show it to you on top. I have cool button designer node and version 7.1 node and I have the morose video capture node. When we set text it was and click run button, it was empty. Why? Because the XML reader uh, didn't know what kind of text we would like to uh, print because there is so much text in every single node. So we need to say XML. So it's going to print the whole XML nodes. I'm gonna pl gonna play start again. This little play button. And as again, it didn't load. So why it didn't load? It didn't load any text. Because we need to specify we need to specify the node we would like to load it doesn't work this way so how are we gonna do this here's the test.xml file let's locate it on the server and you can see that I have the cool button designer node inside of the application this is my main then I have the child then I have the node and I have some child in that node a version 7.1 so I would like to go in the cool button designer to this node and I would like to load this child over here and display it as a text so how I'm gonna do this um, here we go I'm gonna say XML reader the whole XML document stored in a variable dot I'm gonna say select single node so I'm gonna say select just one node and I'm gonna specify what node it's going to be in the string so that's why I opened the double quotes I'm gonna put double uh, slashes like this why? because it represents that we're gonna go through the application and we're gonna we just don't have to specify this so application is our root those two um, uh, backslashes over here represents that this is the root of our XML document and we would like to find the now the nodes in here after this like after this space we would like to find something so double slashes as a root means the application and now I'm gonna say cool button designer which is this note right here and then I'm gonna say version because there is not button designer cool button designer has some childs like version like release date and such as you can see version is closed inside of cool button designer and cool button designer is not closed yet it means that this is the child inside of this node just go ahead and study the XML uh, file files just read the basic introduction how to create the XML files but basically XML file is um, let me show it to you what is XML file? XML file is a document is a file document that stores only text and nothing else and text and data uh, that represent data information and it always starts with the version so you gotta print this uh, code right here and then 
I'm just real quick gonna delete this. It starts with the nodes, and node, and uh, it can be child in that node. And let's say I'm gonna say document one, and then I'm gonna say customer information. And I'm going to say Alexander Morose. And um, I'm going to close it with the closing slash like this. Customer information. And then I'm going to close the note, which is document one. So basically, this is our XML document. And it can go like this, can be represented like this, the way you want it, doesn't matter about the spaces. So it's a, we have XML document, which has document node, and has customer information child of that node. Okay? And has some value for the customer information uh, child node, has the value of Alexander Morose. And then we're closing the document one, saying that there is no more childs in this node, and node is closed. So this is how the basic XML document look like. And keep in mind that XML document kind of similar to HTML document, but only the tags, this is the tags, uh, tags can be anything that you can, uh, that you're going to specify. It's not going to be just like an HTML, it's going to be HTML and then HTML closed. It's not going to be like this. You can specify information like this. In XML document, it can be anything. So it can be HTML and it can be HTML2. In HTML, you got to follow the rules and those tags should be uh, like HTML body that, you know, specified in HTML language. In XML, you can put anything. You can put HTML2, HTML2, and it will understand that. So node tag can be anything. The valuable information, what is the value of that tag, so of that node. So the value of our node or child node is Alexander Moreau. So this is very valuable in uh, XML documents. So just basic information, what is the XML document? So you don't have to go and Google it. I just uh, give you that little introduction. And now look like I'm going to split this video into two parts for YouTube. So please make sure to watch that, uh, them both. And please subscribe if you like my videos. And please rate for my hard work. So here's the basic information for you. All right, let's get back to our uh, video. And here's our huge XML document. I just show you the basic XML document. This can be, but it can be go complex, as over here, an example. So, um, what I'm trying to read, I'm trying to go to my application as a root, and I found the cool button designer node, and I'm going to go in version sub uh, sub node or child node. And I want to read that information, 7.1. How to do that? Pretty much, I'm going to say that xmldata.txt, which is this guy right here, it's a text box, equal XML reader, our XML document loaded from this address into the memory of this variable. Uh, then we're going to click dot and select the property select single node and this property will select a single node and if you will click dot, dot after XML reader it's gonna bring you all the properties and you gotta select the select single node right here okay it's gonna go ahead and bring that and then you gotta just write like so and you're gonna say cool button designer that's this note right here and then I'm gonna go to that child version and uh, version so I'm gonna type sorry and as you saw um, this is the PowerPoint that's how I create this video tutorial using the